Can I let you in a little secret? Oh no! That's <laughs> It's okay! <laughs> Hey, this week on The Archer's Choice, yes, I'm finally getting my input. This input is, we are going to Iowa. We are heading to Iowa for some great bow hunting action. But Can actually, I'm heading to Iowa with Shelly, and Ralph is not. And this is gonna be the first time that we actually get to stay in our Zook cabin for a hunting camp. I mean, we're so excited, it was so much fun. This week's lucky wow. logo so is Rocky. Excited. Rocky, get rocktified with footwear and apparel. <laughs> At the end of the show, of course, we'll tell you what to do if you find the Rocky logo. Yeah. And well, so it's another girls' week again. It is. Shelly and I, <laughs> Iowa. This is so wonderful. Lots of deer. Like, wow. Having so fun. Zoom cabins. Happy? Let's go. Yeah. So you guys are in the cabin the first time on a hunt? Yeah. And I'm not. Yeah. It was a blast. I was so excited knowing that I get to come out to our farm and I asked Shelly if she got her tag and she did. I couldn't wait to get out there in the fall and she and I are gonna spend the week out here and have a blast. So I got an invitation from Vicki to come down to Iowa to go deer hunting. I started to get more and more excited as the date got closer, uh, but it is an application process. And before I even knew that I had been drawn, uh, I got an email from Vicki saying, Check your emails, check your emails. So I kind of knew that, uh, that I'd probably been drawn. She couldn't wait to tell me. The fall's been pretty busy, so we haven't been here in a while. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go grab trail cams and see what's been taken. We've got some stands. There's a couple spots where we want to go and double check stands. And there's actually a spot where we might have taken a stand down that we want to put back up. So I hope they don't have their camera equipment behind me. <laughs> Crunch. Went down, speed scout real quick, just kind of looking at, you know, different scrapes and stuff, rubs, grabbed our spy point camera and headed back to camp. Our farm isn't the greatest for a morning stance, just depending on the wind and the deer out in the fields and we don't want to bust them off to get in the stand. So a lot of times what we'll do is we'll just not hunt first thing in the morning, hop in the vehicle, drive around because we can actually see different directions of our farm depending on where the roads are at. One of the key things to being successful is to glass, to know what's in the area and how they're moving and that's what we do almost every morning. There's cows next to the window, Dan. You're making it sound like there's Dopey in my truck. Yeah, Dopey, he's behind the camera, get it, Dopey? <laughs> it was good. You just upset that you didn't think of it first. It is our first day here in Iowa. First day on the farm. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon, I think. We already have a buck, a small buck and a doe, down on the east end. This is the field we glassed last night. We saw a bunch of deer activity down the bottom of it, so we're just gonna... We hung the stand up real quick. We moved it a little bit from where we had one hanging because we wanted to be right on the field. <laughs> okay, so I'm all set up. I got my release on. I'm ready to go. Can't find my rangefinder. I swear I had it here just a second ago. I found it. Sometimes you have your rangefinder and sometimes you drop it on a tree. The first night I was sitting in the stand just trying to get oriented and hadn't been there very long when uh, a buck was chasing a doe. And I knew then that, you know, if we were going to see action that quick, it was going to be a fun couple of days hunting. 
the wind is blowing like crazy. And we sat there, we saw some does, a couple young bucks had a, had a little eight point right behind us. And um, the wind just was nonstop. I mean, it felt like my eyes had been sandblasted all afternoon. Realized that the next day it's gonna be a north wind and we're not gonna be able to sit the stand. So I had to watch him turn and run away. It has gotten really cold outside. It's 28 degrees. We are taking the bad boy down to this corner here. We're gonna hang a stand and sit in it tonight. Um, north winds, northwest winds. That's the plan. Josh and Shelly are down below. Oops. Nice buck. Oh, how horrible. What a horrible way to die. Just found a dead buck. Don't know if it's EHD, probably EHD. It's a shame it's a nice buck. Sucks. Nature, what do you gotta do? I'm gonna go check out to see what kind of signs are on the stand. We may end up taking it down and moving it yet this afternoon. We decided the wind is so crazy around here that we need to move stands somewhere else. So we packed our stands up, well it turned into a cluster. We did a granola hike instead, and we end up tucking ourselves into just a couple cedar trees. We can see our beautiful cabin right there, which isn't even close to where we parked our bad boy buggy. <laughs> Probably five miles ago. <laughs> so now, we have our stands are over there on the ground because we dropped them. We saw a couple bucks chasing does this morning down here in, in the bottom down here. We have a northwest wind. It is what it is. If something comes by, it's going to be a miracle. We just did everything, walked everywhere, sweated. It's 28 degrees outside and we're sweating. And we got settled in. We're out of the wind, which is a good thing. Let's we'll see if any deer come in, just coming through, or if we have to grunt or rattle or do something to get him to come our way. If it's anything like yesterday, it's gonna be a great fit. You know, the evening went on, the doe's running everywhere, and this one group, uh, the one buck had been behind all these does. And when, so when the does started coming down right in front of the stand, uh, we knew that he was, it was just a matter of time he would follow. There was five does, one on every side, looking at us at all times. So we didn't want to move, we didn't want to do anything wrong, because they would bust us instantly. There he was, right by my tree stand, and it was a matter of one and a half to two steps and I, I was ready for him. He just didn't make those last two steps. So I had to watch him turn and run away. We're standing in these cedar trees. We don't know if it's gonna work or not. We can see the cabin and within, gosh, probably 30 minutes of being in there, we had a doe and a buck come running up. This little eight point is chasing the stove straight to us. She's within 10 yards of us. I can't get a shot at her. We're in the cedar trees. The rut's on. They are chasing like crazy and this is what we wanted to see. This is why we came here. The bucks are running and that's what we need even though we're not where we really wanted to be. And even though our plans for this afternoon's on, we still had deer or buck and a doe within 30 yards of us standing on the ground in cedar trees. Gotta love Iowa. Oh man, if we would've snipped those right there, she wasn't 15 yards. A little later, we see a big buck and he's walking. He's further west of us. Try rattling, I hit my antlers really hard. Finally got his attention and he turned around like he was gonna come in. But I think actually what happens, I think he might have seen a doe down below that we couldn't see because he came running, but he went running right back to where he came from. We're running out of light, so go back up and walk back to the cabin because our bad boy bug is a mile down the stinking road where we left it when we parked it this afternoon. So I think I'll just go back to the cabin, grab my truck keys, drop Dan off to pick up the buggy, and then I'll go pick up Shelly and, and Josh. You guys are gonna go tonight, okay? Okay, so the other day, Dan and I moved to Stan, and this is where you guys are gonna go tonight, okay? 
you guys, we're gonna drop you off here by the road, and you're gonna climb over this gate. You're gonna walk this fence line down and go quite a bit, and then you're gonna find this shifty gate here. Um, and you go through it's it, it's beautiful. actually a big cut fence gate that okay. you just kind of squeeze through there. So you go down, this is where we found that dead deer with the EHD. Okay. Right there on the corner. Right. Just follow it around. There's a big tree that goes over the river. Big tree over creek, yes. Big tree over creek. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you're gonna see there's this flat open spot and the stand's right there. This is your deer dad mm, scavenger hunt from Dan. <laughs> Surprise if you come back with the deer, absolutely there is a prize. <laughs> what did I find on the scavenger hunt? No, that's the whole point. Is this is what you're looking for right here? This is the end of the scavenger hunt. You have to find the deer. So if you find all these, the shifty gate, enter the creek, dead deer, cross under fence, the whole nine yards. When you get that buck, you get a prize. So I'm Dora the Explorer, and I got a backpack. Okay. That's right. And here's your map. Here's your map. Here's your map. <laughs> got it. When I got to the tree and looked at the map again. Uh, you know, in my own defense, I'm, I'm going to say, <laughs> really, it didn't look like I was supposed to turn there, but and it wasn't to scale. That's what I'm going to go with. The map was not to scale. <laughs> we found the tree stand. Time to get on. So I, I saw the times of, of the one buck, and he was walking up the ridge, uh, but he came in, came in, and took the 40-yard trail, and back out he went, down into that little canal. 40 yards is just, that's outside my comfort zone. At, you know, 30 yards and under is, is where I am 100% comfortable. It didn't matter what kind of buck he was going to be, I wasn't going to be able to, uh, I don't even have a 40 yard pin. <laughs> so uh, 30 yards is gonna be my max. <laughs> so once things died down, it looked like I had a, a little window of opportunity. I grabbed my peanut butter sandwich and I start eating it. And I can see the buck coming from my left. And it's a different buck, but uh, I like everything about him. And so I don't know what to do with my sandwich. I'm a little afraid to move, so I just shoved the whole thing in my mouth. <laughs> And he did what the other buck was supposed to do. He came in and followed the 30 yard trail, got to the spot where I knew he would turn broadside, and that was the moment. Anybody who has been in that situation, you know that feeling way, you know, where you have to wait till morning. You can pretend like you're not thinking about it, but it's all that's on your mind. The only thing that would give me little snippets of peace was Dan would say, I saw the shot, it'll be good, it'll be good. But those are very momentary and then I'd start worrying again. When deciding when in doubt, get out, it is the longest night. And I can tell you, Shelly probably didn't get much sleep at all because all night long, she's wondering what's going on with that buck she shot. It's okay. <laughs> well, this morning, we are going to go recover Shelly's buck. We watched, well, we watched the footage last night when we got back and we didn't watch all the footage yesterday when we, last night when we were in the field. And then we saw the footage of where he laid down and he kicked a couple times. We're gonna hope a bunch of coyotes that are all over the place didn't find him last night. That yeah. Shelly is a nervous wreck because of that. Now the one thing that uh, nobody else in the cabin knew uh, was that I had never shot an archery deer before. And there was a couple of times when I felt, well maybe I should tell someone. I'm like, well no, then I'm really gonna make them all very nervous. It was stressing me out, <laughs> just thinking that, what are you doing out here in Iowa? You've never done this before. I found the buck. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Congratulations. It's okay. 
Okay, enough of you. <laughs> go, go, I, I go. Go, to you now. go, go, let's go. Good job. And he's not taking over my camera. Oh, he's got a kind of weird thing going yeah, on there, doesn't he? Look at that. I know it would have made better sleep if we would have let you uh, come out last night and find him. But you know what? Um, but if something would have happened, I would have kicked myself. So this no, is, we, yeah, we watched him we can actually, come up yeah. here, bed down. We watched him. Yep, you got him. And uh, stand is right there. It's not that far at all, yeah. actually. Congratulations. Thank I'm you, so thank happy you. for you. Oh. We'll fill some dough tags, too. Can I let you know a little secret? Yeah. This is my first archery buck. Is it really? Actually, it's my first archery deer ever. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Congratulations! <laughs> that, it was you very know fun to it share that make, with you. It me. makes that so much better. It really does. Mm -hmm. He is a beautiful first time. Wow! First archery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. staring at this buck and I hear a noise over to my right and wham, there's a doe coming in. Quick, quick, Dan, there's a doe, there's a doe. And I hear this ch -ch 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 -ch, and I say, I think there's a coyote coming. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, I kind of took a quick shot at him and I totally missed him. <laughs> oh well, get away, I just shot a dome, I wanna go get her. Okay, let's go get her. Very nice, very, very nice. We'll stick that puppy right in there. Okay, my spider has bitten again. zipped right through a beautiful doe. Beautiful, beautiful doe. We're gonna go take it into the hush program here in Iowa because RJ is at home right now and he uh, just tagged two deer today, Illinois shotgun season. So, you know what, we had the tag. We need to make sure we do management with the does. We need to shoot a doe, manage the property. What a great way to end my Iowa trip. Well, we're at Zeb's and we're gonna go ahead and donate my deer to Iowa Hush Program. We drop it off and they will process it and they'll give it to people that need it. I have to give you guys credit, even though you know I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. I mean, probably, you know, things would have happened a little better, but. I don't think so. I mean, no? we had a great time, <laughs> had fun in camp, shared the new Zook cabin out there. It was awesome. Great. Missed a coyote, it happens. What are you gonna yep. do, you know? Shelly got her first buck with her got bow. Her I mean, how buck. cool I mean, is that? I mean, it was really cool. And you know what, that reminds me. This whole show, you've been complaining that you weren't there. Why weren't you there? You were in Colorado using my invite that was already aired this, year, this season on the Archer's Choice. You were hunting muleys. So stop complaining about Iowa. What are you thinking? My gosh, you know? Hey, if you happen to see the little wow. logo this no week. No more coffee for her. Which was rocky. Get rocktified, baby. You need to log on to archerschoice.com, 
click on Lucky Logo, yes. fill out some information, yes. and someone's going to win some great stuff from Rocky and a whole bunch, a whole of, bunch I of other. I believe it's head cool. to toe too. I'm isn't telling it? you, head yeah. to toe, the yeah. whole setup, baby. Next week. Next week. Next week, we're going to New Mexico. Bring in your Hoyts. Bring it over to Top Notch Outfitters. And the guys, the guys, it's a guys hunt. <laughs> and the guys will be out there hunting. Hey. Are you happy? All right. Thanks for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week, same time, same channel, right here on the Archer's Choice with the guys, with the guys, with the guys. Yeah. Yes. You need to take me elk hunting again.